Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, for a start, I'd just like to thank uh, all the loyal subscribers and the new ones who have followed me over the last year. Uh, I was looking at the number, I think we're up to about 5,000, so very much appreciated. Right, the, the sun's shining, it's a super morning, so let's get the paints out and get started. A traditional landscape painting in watercolour and this is the painting or the scene that we're going to tackle today. Just I was about to explain how I was going to tackle this painting my wife passed and uh, said wow that's a fairly complicated painting is it not for beginners? So it got me thinking and um, I've changed my plan. So after my wife's uh, keen eye regards how the degree of difficulty of this painting is, um, for beginners um, I've decided I'm going to do this, uh, tackle this painting in three short parts. So I'm going to do the whole painting and, and first I'm going to let you see how to sketch and then paint the church itself. Then I'll do another short uh, video showing you how to paint the surrounds, which is the sky and then the hills in the distance, the trees and um, the green grass in the bank in the front. And then we'll have a, another video which will be to tackle the whole painting, but by that time you will be familiar with the, the church and the surroundings. So hopefully at the end of it you will have a painting that you'll feel pleased and proud to have completed. Part 1. How to paint the church. First of all I would suggest that you use cheaper practice paper. Don't get your good quality paper that you have. Um, keep that for when we do the finished painting. So here we have this, the church um, and I'm going to hopefully show you how to do this fairly quickly. Right, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to draw that wall that's round there just to give me a bit of feeling where this is going. So that's the wall, there's a big stone there and it goes around here. And that wall carries back on round. So now I'm going to do this end wall of the church and then I'm coming across to that one and I'm going to draw that along to the roof. I'm going to put the angle of the roof up and this little extension of Putting that in first and then we'll take that down, goes down to about there. There's another wall along here. Right, so I just want to carry on and get that angle up there. And there we go. That's the basically the sketch about finished. There's a little bit on the end here. Cross, cross there and one here, two windows, arched windows too far along and another one there. Right, that's about it. We've got trees here, hills in the distance, but we'll do that in part two. So that's the sketch. Now, before we start, I just want to make it clear that um, you'll see the, there's a light, quite a strong light coming from the left hand side. So all the parts of the building on the front, if you like, will be light and the ones in the, around the end will be dark because they're in the shade. So we'll have to make sure we get nice light because good paintings are all about contrast darks and lights, darks and lights, darks and lights. Okay. 
Well, what colours do we need for stonework? Well, I use... I'm just going to show you here. Yep. I use um, yellow ochre. And... That's too strong a value. I need to put some water into that. Right, and I add a little Payne's grey down in the corner here. And that's near enough stone colour. So, come across and start off here. There's the stone wall in the front, so I'm going to use the same colour and just carry on along, and that will do. I need to paint that part in as well. Right, so that's the the lighter section done. The next part I'm painting is the roof. Um, that's still a bit wet. I don't want uh, the edges to come in there. I want that to be a hard edge. So I'll paint the roof. Um, I'm going to swing round. Uh, I've got some blue left lying about there. I'm just going to use that up. Bit of cobalt blue and some Payne's grey down in the corner. And you get a nice bluey grey colour for the tiles. Now, I know that's not the colour that you might see here. Um, but that's the beauty of painting. I'm going to change that a bit. Right, so here I come. Again, it's in the light, so I just want a nice light grey colour. Now, don't um, just blank it all in. I like to try and keep some bits of the paper out, so uh, they're quite nice when it's all finished. Right, that's that's all we have for the, the roof, this part and this part. Um, just add a, a little darker bit, just some bits, just to let that dry. There we are, that'll do. Now, the last part we have is the end of the buildings. This part there and there and there in the shade, so they will be darker. So, I'll get some more of that yellow ochre. More of the Payne's grey. And that will do. So I'll swing round and let you see this. Right. I'm just going to check that a bit. Yeah, it looks feels dry. So we'll get that in. Right. What what I was doing there before? I just checked it. Why did I check it? I wanted to make sure I get hard edges here. And I'm going to check that as well. Yeah, that's fine. Because if that was still wet, that this dark colour would be all over the place. Like it might be here. This is still not wet. It's still not dry, so it's not bad. Right, I've managed it. Right, I'm going to throw this in as well. Now be careful, this. don't block that all in. Right, that'll do. 
Okay, so that's the lights in the dark. Just before I finish, I just want to let you see that the the shadow and the light, sorry, here is still light, but around the end of the corner it starts to get dark, the wall, so we need to um, put that in as well. And as we get further around it gets really dark until it comes out in the shadow again, off the shadows, and then you get the lighter part. So, there we are. I'm just going to drop some little bits in, starting to get some detail now. I'm um, just going to soften that off. This is nice if you can learn how to do this, see how that um, just gives you the feeling of the wall itself, the, how solid it is, and it's just going around there. I'm going to put, uh, paint the windows in, and that's about it. I've got the rigger brush out here, the fine pointed brush. I'm going to put some detail in, but we could probably leave this to the end, part three of the video. Uh, because what I like to do all the this detail in one go here, so but I'm just putting it in just to let you see where we are and what will happen. So I'm just going to put some here. Uh, right, I think that's about it. Yeah, that should that should be fine. Again, I'm putting detail in there. You'll do this in the last part. Um, just one bit I should have filled in that bit there. That's very important. Um, again, it's. Darks and lights, darks and lights, darks and lights, darks and lights, and that's good. Right, I think I'll leave that as it is, that's, um, because there's detail to go in, um, the stonework here and here, some of the tiles, but that's part three, the detail. So if you can um, have a go at this, um, that, that would really give you confidence if you get to this stage. So take your time, make a nice sketch, and you've seen how I put the lights in, followed by the, the roof, and then the darks, and that's just drying super. So good luck, have a go. So hopefully you've managed part one okay, and you've got uh, your church looking something like this. So what I would suggest is that you keep this piece of paper um, and we'll do some practice on part two, which is the next video, which will show you how to uh, paint in the grass here, these nice orangey coloured trees, the darker um, hills in the background and so on. Um, so I will quickly... And the sky, of course, I'll show you how to paint the sky. So keep this piece of paper and we can have a go at um, what we call uh, blocking in the stage. Just get rid of all the white paper, some nice colours. There's a lot of nice super earthy colours here, you know, the greens, the browns, the oranges, bluey greens. So, yeah, so just keep this and look out for part two of... Um, the traditional landscape painting by John Gifford.